are shaking, my shoulders, everything. I've never done this before. I've never spoken in front of more than maybe two or three people. My name is Michelle Bell. I want to share with you a little bit about who I am. What a glorious night. Don't you all agree? Yes. Every face I see is a memory. Not a perfectly perfect memory, but you're all here and you're mine for about three or four more minutes. Mm. It's not my birthday, but my birthday is too, January 6th in fact. But I'm gonna break precedence to tell you my one candle wish. And that is that you all have a life as lucky as mine, where you could wake up one morning, or every morning for that matter, and just say, I have, I have it all. I have everything that I ever need in this life. 18 years, don't they go by in a blink? I'm not 18. I don't look 18. Sometimes I act 18, <laughs> right? <coughs> My son was 18 years old and he had cancer for five years. He was diagnosed at 14 years old. He got kicked in the leg playing at a basketball game. The kid was running down the court, dribbling, getting ready to shoot the ball for his team. Somebody on the other team, as I witnessed, kicked him in the fibula. A few months after, Ewing sarcoma was our worst nightmare. So for five years, Nikki battled cancer. When he was diagnosed, the doctor gave him only three years left to live. Can you imagine? Just, I, I, I didn't even know what to do. Faith brought me together to keep us alive for whatever life that we have left. And one in particular that I, I talk about now, it's called mindful living and living in the now and the moment and appreciating every single moment that we have that we are here for. Does that make sense? Mindful living, being mindful, being mindful of the other person, the other person's feelings, the other person's, just being mindful of what is going on and what was mindful for me is that I'm watching the most precious little soul that was brought to me fight and try to survive for the rest of those years. And so unconditional love unconditional love I want you to ask yourself tonight what it means to have the blessing of unconditional love and mine was my son Nick the true sacrifice of living every day with this little boy I don't know how long he was going to be around but the unconditional sacrifice of real love, the depth of real love, real love, going above and beyond of whatever the circumstance might be. I had him in France looking for a miracle. I took him to the Mayo Clinic. I took him to many doctors in those five years trying to save my son's life. So for me, unconditional love is the ultimate sacrifice But you know what? I'm so blessed that I am up here sharing this because this month marks 12 years that Nikki will be um, transitioned to the other side. And so 11 years ago, I started writing this beautiful book 
unconditional love, and it's a journey of unconditional love. And so in about two weeks, my book will be published. Wow. And I'm really, really excited to share this with you tonight because I have not been able to really speak in front of so many people about this and share this without a tear. But I'm so grateful. Um, so the, the, me as a person, this circumstance brought me to this book and writing this book and sharing Nikki and rebirthing him to the world. And I hope that my story helps another mother or a grandmother or a sister or a brother in their journey of whatever it may be going through life and feeling hopeless. Because the book is about the courage and the faith and the hope and the grace in facing death and being alive in the face of death. Thank you everyone for listening and I'm wishing you such a happy holiday. Thank you.